So today, I'm going to share with you a, uh, a little trick that a gentleman in San Francisco's Chinatown taught me when I lived there, and I would loiter in his jade store. And it's a little trick that can help you identify uh, a natural jade bangle from one that's been treated. So when I say treated, what do I mean? Uh, jadeite is frequently subjected to a couple of treatments to improve its quality, color, value. Actually, it does none of these things, but. Um, so jade is given a, jadeite is given a, hydro, a bath in hydrochloric acid, sometimes for months. And what this does is it will dissolve uh, certain undesirable minerals, maybe brown or gray or black minerals that are in the rock. And it leaves behind holes and channels and sort of a network, um, almost like a human bone. If you've ever seen, you know, the human bone is spongy. It's like a cavernous little, little like wormholes all through the bone. And that's sort of what happens to the stone, to the jadeite stone after the hydrochloric acid has, you know, eaten away at the minerals. So the next step is to uh, polymer impregnate that jade and you end up with a bangle that's like this. So very glassy and clear with no black or brown or gray, but it's also really not jade anymore. The stone has been so compromised by the acid bath that this uh, bangle has lost its strength. And unlike a normal jade bangle, this one's going to break. This one's going to crack one day when you knock it against your desk or, you know, hit your arm on the closet door. This will shatter. So treated jade um, is fragile. And if it's been dyed, and polymer impregnated like this, the worst of all possible worlds. It's not only going to be very fragile, but, you know, the color is going to fade. And, you know, none of this, we don't want any of this. So the gentleman in Chinatown took out some silk sewing thread and snipped off a piece. I can't believe I've already tangled my scissors. That is so lame. And then what you do is you uh, thread it through the bangle. Okay. And then you want to take something that's like metallic. You know, these are a pair of tweezers, but you can use a pen and strike the bangle. Not too hard. And you're listening now for the sound the bangle makes. You know, sort of a mid to high pitched little tone. And now let's try it with one that's been subjected to both uh, dye and polymer impregnation. So it's flatter. And here's another bangle. And we'll see how this one sounds. Did you get that? Did you get that? It's not the high pitch. It's the lingering tone. A natural, untreated J bangle when struck, will let out that pure high tone that hangs in the air after you've removed the tuning fork or the pen or whatever it is that you've tapped it with. That note just lingers in the air. But a jade bangle that's been polymer impregnated or dyed or all of the above, it's going to make a thunk sound or at best you know, a little higher pitch sound, but the sound is going to die. A natural jade bangle is going to ring, just like you've wet your finger and run it around the rim of a crystal water goblet. Um, so 
it's not 100% accurate, but you know, it's probably up there uh, in the 90s and it's a lot better than guessing.